today we are going to craft the new Anos demonic unit in anime fighters. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and like the video for free bow bugs. Hey yo, what up? F mine is gang gang. Welcome back to anime fighter simulator, y'all. I'm with my wife boo right now. We have Gargura here, and we are gonna be doing some portals today. You guys want to try to get that new demonic unit? Not just me, but hopefully you guys can get it as well. If you don't know, the update dropped yesterday. We have update 59, Reincarnation High School. We basically covered everything. There's new demonic units. There's portals. What? Whoa, it's kind of like anime adventures, anime last stand, where you guys can open up portals, get some rewards inside of there. And I think the only rewards I've gotten so far from portals are the like materials to craft those new demonic units. So the goal of the video is we're gonna see if we can craft a demonic unit specifically the strongest one that's currently in the game so if i go to my evolved over here it's gonna be anos voligard so i'm not really sure which of these two or maybe it's this one um hopefully it's gonna be stronger than sung john but yeah that's what we're gonna do today if you don't know, I have already Sung John here. I moved my double interstellar onto him. He's doing 6.69 KO. He's level 655. That's the max level cap in the game. So he's pretty damn powerful. You guys can let me know your strongest unit in the comments. But I believe this guy is the second strongest demonic in the game. Once again, Anos Voldigard, if you want to make him, you would go to world 50, Eminence Garden. And the benefit of having Evolved Divines, Demonic Units, they're stronger than regular Divines. Um, as long as you can max out the talents and you can become stronger in the game, you can carry other people. And then whenever they fix the damage per second leaderboards, you would be able to make them. But here's the evolution machine if you haven't seen it yet in the last video. Uh, you want to create evolved fighters, sacrifice two fighters, and some items. So we have the true Demon King and his Voligar once again. He's not shiny, but that's just showing how he is on the right side. Now the materials to make him, uh, yeah, we need 150 Demon Horns, which is, it's kind of crazy. It's really hard to get these. For example, I've already done about 20 gates. 20 portals and i only got three demon horns Bruh. now these plant things right here are really easy to get i probably get like 10 not 10 but i probably get like five maybe five corrupt plants per dungeon it's just really difficult getting these demon horns so i mean that's the goal for the video we got to get 150 demon horns i mean i know i can get the plants and the requirements for the fighters, I already have them. I've been having them for like the past two weeks. Cursed Dragon King and apparently Kurumi. So you put Kurumi on the top, Cursed Dragon King on the bottom. And if you've seen any of my videos, I I usually infuse all the divines uh, whenever the update drops. So I already have Kurumi infused, Cursed Dragon King from like, what, three updates ago? This is at least a couple months old now. And then this is the requirements. So basically, all we gotta do is farm some demon horns, and we gotta get some corrupt plants. Corrupt plants, I'll be able to get that in the next maybe like 15, 30 minutes. Those are easy to get. The problem is gonna be the demon horns. Um, I don't know the drop rate, but it's pretty damn low. Also, if you did not know, um, drop rate does not affect the amount of drops you get inside the portals. So if you saw my update video, I, I said I wasn't sure. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Well, confirmed it doesn't because I took my drop team in there with like 500x, 1000x drops. And I was still only getting like one of these materials. But yeah, if you don't have any gates, make sure you guys redeem the code. I think it's go H updates. I, I think, I'm pretty sure that's the code. Yeah, it says right there, I already redeemed at the very bottom. So you guys can go ahead and type that in. If you don't have any gates, um, from what I've heard, you guys can do dungeon. And if you do dungeon, you can get those gate coins. So if your game bugged out, you opened up a gate or a portal, and you got kicked out of it, all you gotta do is do dungeon, uh, break a chest, and then you should be able to get a gate coin. And then you go to time chamber, and then once you guys get to time chamber, 
I mean, that's pretty much it. You just go to the gates area. It's going to be a little bit past the incubators and the weapon machine. It's like in the corner of the map. I don't know why they put it there. They should definitely move it to the front. You talk to a mysterious NPC. You use your one coin here and you purchase a gate. Once again, I don't know if that's true, but apparently you do dungeon to get the coins. And then you go ahead and put your uh, gates inside of here just like the last video. Um, since the last video, I have already farmed... Let's see, we got E, and then after you beat E, you go to D. Once you beat D, you go to C, and then after C, you go to B, then A, and then you go to S, and then you go to Z. So there's like a bunch of portals in the game. And I'm going to tell you right now, uh, realistically, if you're watching the video, you can probably beat up until gate A. Gate A, I would say most players in the game, 99% of you, you can definitely beat it gate s that gets a little difficult i was able to beat it but it did take me like a few minutes um i don't have any gate s's so i can't show you uh for the video though we're gonna run some gate z's i'll do a bunch of gate a's and then every time you guys do a gate you have a chance to get any other gate in the game so if you do rank a gate you have a chance to get s z or i don't know if you get z but you can get s and then anything below it if you do rank s you can get z and then anything below and i'm guessing if you do rank z you can get z again and anything below and then any rewards you get from there once again it's used for the demonic units you get the seeds here angelic rune demonic fruit water crystal um the corrupt plant demon horn the only one we're going to focus on for the video is anna's voldy card because he should be the strongest i mean you get him on world 50 it's right there eminence garden and if you guys want to know all the other demonic units in the game i can show you super quick once again, if you saw the last video, World 13 XYZ Metropolis. So if you guys go to the One Punch Man map, all you guys got to do is look for the evolution machine. You can see it right here. You can craft Aizen. I don't know how strong he is, but he's the first demonic unit, so I'm guessing he's really weak. But his materials are easy to get. I'm not sure which divines you need though, guys. Uh, but all I can say is right there, the true being. Alright, so yeah, the true being right there, you could craft him. I don't know the requirements. But I'm just showing you guys, World 13. After World 13, I think the next one is World 26, Ninja City. We've covered that before in a video that we did. It was Meliodas or whatever. And uh, he really wasn't that good. Or I don't know if it was 26. It might have been 23. 23, the Underworld, the Chainsaw City map. This is where you guys are able to craft Meliodas. I don't recommend crafting him really that good and then after that somebody said world 33 sorcerer empire um it's basically picking and choosing which which demonic you want to make this one it requires like some crystals and stuff they're not too bad together they're pretty easy uh the right side i already have the requirements and i did like 20 portals tops but yeah that is um i guess the what is that coco shiba or whatever from demon slayer you could make that i i don't know the divines you need but it's not that difficult and then after that solo leveling map, you remember World 46. That's how you guys are going to be able to craft Sung John. And I have Sung John equipped here. He's, I think, the fourth strongest unit in the game. The third strongest unit in the game would be Anna's Voldy Guard. Second strongest unit would be Immortal King. And the new strongest unit is the unreleased, um, I guess, heavenly unit that you guys can win from the TikTok challenge or whenever, I guess, the Easter update comes out for anime fighters. But yeah, you guys can see here, we got Sung John, you need Demonic Fruit, and then you need some of these shards. Demonic Fruit, I mean, if you look at it, it's kind of tough to get these, because you got to do the insane dungeon. So I guess making the new divines, or these evolved divines, at least the newer ones, they're easier to get than the old ones. Evolution shards, you attack the time god, easy. Demonic Fruit, you have to do insane dungeon, you have to break the chest. Not everybody can do that. However, I know a lot of people that can do portals. Doesn't matter which portal you do, they drop all of them. It's a really low chance to get demon horns, but you can get them. Corrupt plants have a really like high drop rate, so you guys can get those too. And then after that, I mean, you just go ahead and craft it. But yeah, once again, this is the goal. We're going to create true demon king plants, 15 minutes, 30 minutes tops, demon horn. <sighs> That it could take half a day. That could take a couple hours. Let's go do the Z portal though. Let's see if we can clap it out first. If I can't even beat the Z portal, what's the point, right? So I'm going to warn you right now too. If you haven't done any of these um, portals, make sure you're using like your strongest team. Before the video started, I've already assembled my strongest team. 
uh, basically have a bunch of support units uh, I got what ghastly there ghastly ghastly is easy stuff I've, I've shown you guys this before none of them are max level I don't need to max level them they just have you know like a damage support passive this right here all their strength is gonna transfer over to my Sung John and my four or spirits I know she's kind of low 1.4 KO and Sung John is decent he's like 6.69 KO his divine passives are kind of bad now somebody in the comments mentioned that i did uh, like auto sold or auto deleted my divine passives and you were right <laughs> i don't have the haunted passive anymore and i don't have the um what is it i had a snow snowstorm and like my demon passives i don't have any of them all i have is interstellar <laughs> and interstellar is not that it's it's okay but it's not that good for attacking it's not the best so that's what i gotta work with 6.69 ko I'm using a damage boost. Uh, for your damage avatar, use vegetable. I know somebody in the comments said flaming hero is better F minus. I double checked it and vegetable is still better. Uh, most people in the Discord server agree that vegetable is the best. So you can use vegetable, turn on a Robux damage event, and then hopefully you guys will be strong enough to kill all the enemies once again. I would say up until rank A gates, it's pretty easy. S rank, you would probably need like a max level unit doesn't matter which one you could probably do it with a limit broken secret with a bunch of support passives a damage boost and a damage avatar um as long as it's 655 um the the s rank gate however z rank um i mean that's where we're doing the video uh let's go ahead and open it up i do know that the higher the rank the gate is the better the drops are you're still gonna get like maybe demon horns um from the lower rank gates this one i probably got from like a c rank gate but all i'm saying is like if you do like a s rank gate an a rank gate instead of getting like two of these seeds you'll probably get 10 maybe 20 right you get more drops the higher the rank that you do so overall uh these demonic units these evolution units a lot easier to create than before these two you had to do insane dungeon it was really tough for most players in the game, right? Now, all you gotta do is just do these portals, doesn't matter what rank, and then you guys can make your demonic unit as long as you have the infused divine, which I guess would still take a while, but I know some of you guys do have it, so there you guys go. I'm gonna wait for this to open up. There is a cooldown right now at the top of the screen. It's like one minute. I know some people were asking for that to be removed. I don't really like the cooldown for like, you know, waiting for this damn thing to open up, but Let's go take a look at it. 150 BO. So that's pretty easy, right? Or is that hard? Um... <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> nah, that's actually crazy. All right. So I'm going to tell you right now, we are not going to be able to beat um, Z rank. Nope. That's no. <laughs> I already have a Song Jong double interstellar 6.69 KO. I mean, if at all, I could turn on a damage Robux event. I could like clone this guy full 18 times and then maybe get like what haunted passive if I still had it or maybe, maybe like double uh, snowstorm. I said snowflake earlier but like double snowstorm and I don't even know if I'd still be able to beat the Z rank portal. So I'm not going to waste any time with that. We're just going to leave. So I guess Z rank is currently impossible unless maybe you're like a really strong end game player or like a YouTuber. I can't do it. I can do S rank though pretty easy. Those only take me like one or two minutes to beat. I don't have any S rank portals though. I can do an A rank portal. I didn't do this portal yet for the last video. So I can show you exactly what you guys can get. And we can farm the materials together. So that like I said, the goal, we can make Anos Voldigard. I don't think I'd be able to make them shiny or like do any other kind of stuff. But I can definitely create them for the video. Um, once again, because it, the materials are pretty easy. Corrupt plant, I already almost have enough. I'm already halfway there. And then the demon horn. I realize I need like a hundred something more, but I've only done like 20 portals, 20 minutes, maybe. I literally just run through every single one. If you guys want, I mean, you could turn on auto attack. That would help out a lot. And actually, I think I'm going to turn on auto attack. Yeah, you already know how FMI is about to do it. We're going to transform into our avatar too. So you guys know, make sure you use vegetable. Make sure you use a damage boost, super damage boost. Um, if you have it, uh, use auto attack. You definitely should use auto attack and stuff. 
and then you should be good so let's wait for this to start here we go the portal has opened we got auto attack on and this is just to show you it's an easy clap look at the very bottom of the screen you see how many materials i'm getting i got six of those crystals and then the red crystal i got three so that's pretty good and i got one of the red crystals so it's like random whatever you get once again drops multiplier doesn't affect it but i mean you can still make all this stuff and i got more gates every enemy you kill um, you get a gate. It could be a really good gate, like A rank, S rank, or it could be like D rank. But I mean, you can get materials from anyone. And look at the bottom of the screen once again. I got another gate. Basically, all of these will only take me about one minute to do. I could probably do about 40, maybe about 40 or 50 gates an hour. And if I spend like six hours, I could probably run through about 300 gates. So that's not too bad at all. We just clap that out uh, once you guys finish. You could wait for the victory page, or you can just teleport out. Teleporting out would be a little bit faster, and then just return. So, we're going to see if we get lucky. Let's go check our inventory. We needed, uh, what is it, S-Rank. S-Rank portal is what really what we're uh, looking for. And I think we might have one A-Rank, B-Rank, C-Rank, D-Rank, S-Rank. Yeah, those are the ones we really want. And the good thing is I have four of them. Nice. So, let's go ahead and open up another S-Rank. And then let's go join it. There is a glitch where if you guys open a gate and you're in a public server and somebody else tries to open a gate you get kicked out of your gate like it says defeat so just keep that in mind if possible do gates do portals in a private server all right guys i'm telling you right now and if you lose your gate you have to do dungeon so you can get gate coins i don't know if that's confirmed you know the chests you break them you get gate coins and you can restart from like e rank but i mean that's just what i heard you know that could be a workaround or you can wait for a code in the game they probably give you guys some gate coins i'm gonna run through this s rank portal i'll show you guys how i guess easy it is for f minus this one's not too difficult at all i mean i got my strongest unit here interstellar great for the time multiplier damage wise not so much i won't lie to y'all this one's like it's i wish i had my uh snowstorm and the uh, haunted pass i'd probably like kill this like two times as fast but here it is 1.5 bo as you guys can see i only have one max level unit the rest of my worst spirits if you haven't noticed they're only 645 as well so i mean i only have one max level unit even if it was like a secret or something like that and you had a bunch of ghastlies maybe you had super damage boost and a bunch of support uh damage avatar like you know damage avatar damage units you would be able to kill it you have 15 minutes to kill like five enemies and i already like killed this guy in like not even a minute so if i can do it i know you guys can definitely do it and my team is the only reason i only have one unit is to prove a point like i said you don't need the strongest team you can do it with one unit look at that we just clapped him out yeah, he's a demonic unit, but don't forget, his talent is not maxed out. Remember my worst spirit, max talent, way stronger than demonic. Look at the bottom of the screen, we got some crystals right there. Nice, that's what I'm talking about. All right, so we're probably just going to go ahead and spam for the next, I don't know, like one hour, two hours. Uh, S rank gates, because I guess S rank, uh, the only thing I really need once again are demon horns. I don't really need corrupt plants or maybe there's like a certain gate that gives you corrupt plants right i haven't looked into that maybe you have to do certain gates because the last gate if you remember i only got these crystals the red crystals and the blue crystals and then i guess that was a rank right now we're doing s rank and i'm getting crystals again so i don't know let's kill this enemy and let's find out all right gang gang so f minus has cracked the code i know exactly what you need to do now i did a lot of research um just doing portals i probably did about 20. so basically the portal you want to do if you're farming for anos voldigard and i had to go on like different servers too so we're basically still going to make them and it's a lot easier now i figured it out all you have to do is portal d d for demon that's all you got to remember because anos voligard is like what is he the demon right he's like the first demon i guess ever d rank is the one you want to do you are able to get uh demon horns and you're able to get corrupt plants in there so that's all you got to do guys do not do portal s e well you can't even do z uh a b <laughs> c uh you just do d, just do d you can do rank e and you're able to get uh the corrupt plants but just do portal d 
That's the one you really want to get, okay guys? Portal D is all you have to do to farm for Anno's Voldigard. So if you are watching this video, um, I mean, definitely still try to get a really strong team. You know, try to turn on the damage event and stuff. If you're not farming for Anno's Voldigard, but if you definitely want to farm for Anno's Voldigard, that's all you got to do. What is that? It's a present. What? <laughs> I think the game just glitched on us, y'all. But yeah, that's it pretty much. That's all we're going to do for the next like couple of hours, maybe like two or three hours. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get it. Just D rank portals. Um, the HP is so low. You don't even need to use. I'm not even going to use Anna's Voliga to show you. I'm just going to use Michael Gulpecki. He's level 610. Not even max level. He's limit broken, but he's not even max level. And I'm pretty sure I'd be able to beat this. You definitely still want to have auto attack. Um, and also, I know I said earlier, the higher the rank portal the better reward mm, technically maybe in z rank portal right that's the highest tier portal you might get something amazing in there but nobody can beat it but uh basically every portal gives different stuff the one that you only want to farm is portal d so let's go ahead and break these um... <laughs> is it glitched or what i don't even think i can break them maybe if you guys do portals sometimes you get some weird presents in there because i am not able to attack them I'm going to hop out of the time chamber, we're going to go back in, and we're going to do a D rank portal. Okay, this is the second portal um, for D rank that I'm doing. I already have 7 demon horns and 43 corrupt plants. The last run I did, I got really lucky, I got a bunch of horns. All you got to do is just kill the enemy and pray you get some good drops. Look at that, I got a plant at the very bottom of the screen. This one I probably got some demon horn, there you go, we got a demon horn again. And then we got a demon horn again, I guess. Oh, no, we got a portal and some plants. Demon horn. No demon horn. Demon horn's a little bit rare to drop, but I have eight now. And then we have 48 corrupt plants. I'm literally almost done, guys. All I literally have to do is maybe one or two hours. I thought it was going to be three or maybe like six hours. No. We only have to do one or two hours of these D rank portals. And we will finish. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's how y'all do it. That's the fastest way. You guys are going to farm for Anno's Bulldogar, provided you already have the materials. I mean, you guys should have farmed it out. You had one entire week. You know, F- does farm in the game a lot. So we already have the infused units. But, I mean, this is it. All I'm going to do is just probably one more portal. And then I'll time skip maybe about one hour, two hours. Uh, we should be able to have 150 demon horns. And then we should have, like... I don't know how many corrupt plants, but I don't need more than like, I think 75, maybe 100 or something. Um, and then we'll be done. Here we go. Portal about to open. There's the barrier. They really got to remove that uh, one minute cooldown. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm not, I don't like waiting that long. We got two plants at the bottom of the screen. Let's at least get like one demon horn per... Ooh, four demon horns? Yo! If one portal is one minute and you get four demon horns per run... You literally will finish Anno's Voldigard in about 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes. That's crazy, guys. So one hour, two hours of farming, and you're done for Anno's Voldigard. Once again, you do have to have infused divines. But if you were endgame player like F- or you had already prepared for the update, you already have infused this, infused... I mean, this one, you already should have it. This is, a, this is months old. This one just came out, so I can understand if you don't have it, but... This already been out for a long time. Yeah, you guys can definitely get Anno's Voldigard. I'll farm for like an hour or two. Let's see what happens. Um, and then let's go craft him. All right, here we go. It's been maybe a little less than two hours. I'm getting a little tired. 149 Demon Horns, 418 Corrupt Plants. And actually before this part of the recording, I did four portals, no Demon Horn. <laughs> So I was like, okay, maybe this time we'll get some demon horn. But basically, for every like four corrupt plants, five corrupt plants, uh, maybe three, you can expect one demon horn. And you're actually able to turn some of these into player EXP. You can see on the right side. Uh, so I don't know if you guys want to do that. And also, if you're in a private server, you can still get kicked out. I'm in a private server right now. I'm the only one here. I got kicked out like a bunch of times. So, I mean, I said go into private server, but apparently it's still glitched. So hopefully by the time you're watching the video, they fixed it. Let's see if we get a demon horn. Um, <laughs> can we get a demon horn, please? There we go. Finally got a demon horn. It took like five years. Like what the <laughs> is this drop rate? Drop rate is low. Sometimes you get lucky. You can get five demon horns. Sometimes you get one. It's just on how lucky you get. Sometimes you don't even get anything. But we have farmed enough. We are now ready. You guys can check our inventory here. 150 demon horns. 411 corrupt plants and i have a bunch of gates 
So all I'm gonna do now is just go ahead and craft him. I don't even think it takes, it takes like two hours or like an hour or something. I'm gonna take uh, one of these Kurumis. I don't really care which one. And then one of these Cursed Dragon Kings. I don't care which one either. Uh, it's 80 Corrupt Plants. I said 75, it's almost close. And then 150 Demon Horns. Let's go evolve him. Uh, the timer says three days, but it's affected by time multiplier. So if I take out my real time team, and then I go and get, what is it, Worst Spirit is the best new time avatar. I know it used to be Sensitive Slayer, but you guys let me know in the comments. Uh, or at least you told me in the comments, and then I was like, okay, fine, I'll go ahead and change it out. Then I will go turn on the time event, Robux. 32 minutes left, bruh. <laughs> okay, and then I'll go to the challenge hub, and we will go and change to a time artifact. I'm just showing you, this is how you do it. And then we're going to use a super time boost as well. I don't even know if I have a super time boost in my inventory. Um, but I think that's pretty much it. Our time multiplier should be 41x. If I go into the time chamber, then at the very top of the screen, it should be like almost 70x, I think. I think I removed some of my interstellar units though. So it's like 46x. And I'll turn on a super time potion. And then basically you divide 46 into whatever the evolution unit was three days 72 hours four or 72 divided by 46 is like an hour 30 minutes there you guys go, there you guys go that's the math so i'll wait for you guys and then let's go ahead and finish this up all right uh we waited uh what is it in the time chamber for an hour and a half and he's now finished like i said just stay in the time chamber you don't need the time team or anything just make sure you try to max everything out let's go claim him and let's go see how strong he is i don't even know his name let me check the index his name in the index is true demon king so we're gonna type in true demon king there he is at level one 20 000 damage bro that's it i hope mine is negative i hope mine's negative damage so sung john is 17 don't tell me he's 20 23 Woo! that's not bad that's not bad i thought it was 20 so 23k uh, non shiny and if you guys want to make them shiny is 40,000 and if you want to see the difference the current heavenly in the game is 48,000 the new strongest demonic I think it's the new strongest at least there's two more I haven't made 23k so he's doing about half the damage of a heavenly and I'm gonna tell you guys right now if you can't get a heavenly I know you guys have been hatching I've been hatching oh. I still haven't hatched the heavenly um i got a heavenly from one of the developers i guess you could say but i haven't made a video about it because i want to hatch my own i've hatched 600 million times 700 million times and i still don't have one so if you can't get one and i don't even have one i don't even use one to attack then just make the demonic unit 23k is not that far off of 48k and imagine how much harder is it to get a bunch of heavenly fruit cursed orbs just to make this guy max ascension right you gotta do all that work and for true demon king all you gotta do is just well i mean it's a lot of work too but it's easier i think than doing immortal king and he's only half the damage plus you can make him shiny forty thousand. heavenly he's forty eight thousand. can you make the heavenly sh uh, shiny yeah but you need heavenly fruit um, those, you know, might be a little expensive in the Discord server. I want to see what kind of fruit this guy takes, though. Like, how do you make them shiny? Do I need demonic fruit? Probably need demonic fruit. Probably need demonic fruit for talent as well and stuff like that. Let me go and check it out. I want to try to make them shine. Yeah, I need demonic fruit. So, if I put one in, I mean, it's a 5%. I'm not going to do it, by the way. <laughs> there is no way I would do that. But we're going to go ahead and make them shiny. Mac try to max them out for the next video. I just need to get demonic fruit. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, though. Um, I can equip them just to show you. Hey, Anna's Poligar. Yes, sir. Okay, cool. Now, he's probably in his weakest form. He's only level one, but we can definitely make him a lot stronger. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, though. Really do appreciate your guys' support. And until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next video.